Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Attila Schneider and Mark Dvoretsky. This game was played in Russia in 1983. Attila Schneider had white pieces and he started with d4. Mark Dvoretsky played d5. c4, Queen's Gambit. c6, going for Slavo, semi-slav defense. Knight to f3, knight to f6, knight to c3, e6, semi-slav defense. Pawn takes pawn on c4 would be slav defense. White to move, bishop to g5, Attila Schneider goes for Botvinnik system. D takes on c4, e4, threatening e5, attacking the pin knight and also bishop takes pawn on c4 b5 defending the pawn e5 attacking the pin knight knight can't move well it can but it's very expensive move h6 attacking the attacker bishop to h4 g5 knight takes on g5 h takes on g5 bishop takes pawn still pinning the knight knight from b to d7 Pawn takes knight, white is a pawn up. Bishop to b7, g3, this is the most played move. c5, attacking white center, and also threatening. Bishop takes rook. d5, black to move. Queen to b6 is the most played move nowadays. Mark Dvoretsky played bishop to h6. Bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop, bishop to g2, b4 attacking the knight, knight to a4, perhaps knight to e4 should have been considered, to a4. So if knight takes pawn, knight takes pawn on c5. Well, Mark Dvoretsky allowed that move, so he played knight takes on f6, he takes on c5 attacking the bishop. Bishop takes pawn on d5. Attila Schneider castled kingside. Bishop takes bishop. King takes bishop. Queen to b6 attacking the knight. Queen to a4 check. King to e7. Knight to a6. Threatening. Knight takes pawn on b4. Knight to d5. Defending the pawn. Which knight is better placed? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Black knight is better placed. Rook from a to e1, and now rook from a to h8. Which king is safer? Black is threatening, rook takes pawn on h2. h4. White is intending a3 in some variations, and in some variations rook to e4, attacking the pawn on c4. But it is black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Mark Dvoretsky played the killer move. Rook takes pawn on h4 sacrificing the rook in order to hunt down white king g takes on h4 rook to g8 check king to h3 queen to d4 intending queen to g4 check and then queen to g2 checkmate queen to d1 defending g4 square if rook to g1 then knight to f4 check King to h2, queen takes pawn on f2 check, king to h1, queen takes pawn on h4 checkmate. So Attila Schneider played the queen to d1. Black to move, how would you continue now? Mark Dvoretsky played knight to f4 check, king to h2, black to move, black. Play the move and white resigned. The move is... 
queen to f6. Threatening takes pawn on h4 checkmate. There is no sensible defense. One not so sensible defense goes like this. a3, queen takes pawn on h4 checkmate. What a game. Mark Duretsky was a legend. Would you like to be a legend too? If you want to be successful at anything, you need to go an extra mile. You want to be an attacking player? Go an extra mile. Buy today Ultimate Attacking Play Bundle. Become attacking player. And win more games. Have more fun. The sofa expires in three days. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.